good. <laughs> Every day I have to carry water down because our water's not hooked up yet. Uh, I have a stockpile here though. Oh, anyway, it's hard to get up. Like this is it, guys. This is what my hair's gonna look like. <laughs> Maybe for the whole day. Stella. Never even touched that one. Which one? This one, which I made. Let the sun in. Much colder today, everything is frozen. Oh dear. There's a whole lot of pooping going on. Yeah, oh. Sh well, you're messy, I still keep you. <laughs> I crack myself up. <laughs> I haven't even had coffee today and I still got so much such good jokes. Here back up, my love. Um so now she drank nothing. Okay. That one looks a bit emptier though. No, yeah, maybe it's a tiny bit. Thanks to you guys, I have some uh, tricks. I have some tricks up my sleeve. Okay, so I'm gonna put some stuff in her water today and see if we can get her drinking better. So she's drinking like consistently a quarter of a, a quarter of a bucket each day. She's getting a lot of water in her hay. Is this wet? Okay, so while she's munching away, you guys could probably do her hay or do some other stuff. <laughs> Come on, come on. Do you want me to give her her hay? Yeah, we'll do mucking out. Okay, well, you want me to do her hay then? Lots of pee, Gabby's finding lots of pee. Yay, lots of pee. So she's not drinking much, but she's, so hopefully that's gonna change today. I put something in her food to try and make her a little bit thirstier. There's pee in here? Oh yeah. <laughs> The last one that I oh, so it wasn't lots of pee, it was your pee. Okay, do you guys wanna hear the real down and out story of having a horse at home, or do you wanna hear the glossed over beautiful part of having a horse at home? What do you think we should tell them? The, so there's The real deal? Bad. The real so deal? Okay, bad do it. is that this man's not drinking that much. Yeah, it's stress. <laughs> and the good is, wait, no, there's another bad. What? I have to get up early. The crack of dawn. So we were awake at seven, mom and I. And then, Sophia was still asleep. Yeah. She was asleep for like an hour when yeah. we Yeah. I do not care, I need to sleep. <laughs> Girlfriend needs to sleep. Okay, what are the good parts? The good parts is having your horse at home so that you can play. Right, so you can play. Can we play with her right now? No, but we can bring her in the arena. Yeah, but we're not gonna try, we're gonna try not to do that too much. She's having x-rays, so I gotta phone the vet today. So, my bad she part. She can go outside. Oh my goodness. My bad part. Oh, mom, and she's been laying down too. Yeah, she's and been laying down. Too. She has shavings all over her tail. And that's okay, that's what we expect because girlfriends got sore feet. But anyways, uh, this is the part that's hard for me. Okay, the waking up is not hard. Uh, I get excited. Like, I wake up in the morning, I'm like, yes, I wish everybody was awake. We could go down there in the dark and be with her. Same. But not the waking up part. <laughs> yeah. Um, the part that's hard for me is like, we need the paddock done and it's almost done. Just a little tiny bit Sam couldn't do because we're waiting for the gravel. So uh, this is the part that's hard for me. I have, it's just so busy. Like um, last night we went to ride and we didn't get home till 7 p.m. I had to edit, we had to do chores, like supper. What do you mean supper? Like there's no time for supper. I learned yesterday, you eat when you can and if it's at lunch, you eat at lunch because you may not get supper. <laughs> Right? We ate after yeah. Yeah. we came home and yeah. did chores. Yeah, they did. They ate later. I had to edit. Um, so I have the gravel guy coming and I have to go into town and get money for him because I had no time to go get money yesterday. Um, but he's coming, so I have no time to go get money. So I told him, like, I have to run into town and get money. And he's like, no, no, it's okay. And I'm like, oh, wow, he's the nicest man. He said he's probably going to come back anyway so, uh, with another load. So, <sighs> At least that's off. But then I have to phone the vet. Vet, the vet has to come do X-rays before the farrier comes on Friday. And yeah, like there's just so much. There's wait, no, that's Dad. Oh, Dad's Dad home. Sabrina, Sabrina, Sabrina. Sabrina is the name of our van. Sabrina, Sabrina, Sabrina. Now I can get him to go get me money. And that is exactly how I act when Sam comes home. <laughs> to be honest, I need home. I, I want Sam home all the time. I wish Sam, Sam was home all Sam. the time. Yeah, Sam is home. He came home. Maybe he had pity. Felt had. Once it all settles down and we get into a routine, it's gonna be okay. And you guys are probably thinking like that's not that bad, and it's not. Uh, the other drawback is yeah, you guys thought that we were rich before, which we weren't. 
but now we're really not rich because it's a lot of money. Um, another good thing is Sam brought us coffee. Isn't that so kind? You brought me a roll at the rim. <sighs> hot dog it. Another good thing is that that brings us chocolate. Hot the dog. minute you walk into the barn, you feel so good. It just feels so peaceful, and you just it feels amazing. Like you never want to leave. People say they never want to leave their barn. I get it now. Like I get it. Look Dude. at that. I know. Girlfriend wants out. She's like, I'm done playing with you guys. Take me home. <laughs> She's like, I hate it here. We're getting you a friend. We're working on it. <laughs> Don't eat the poop. <laughs> She's like, oh. <laughs> she knows. She knows what's happening. I'm gonna get her. Uh, I'm gonna get her a slow, like a hay net. A lot of you guys are saying it's a lot easier to. It's okay, but we have one. You should go look in the trailer for it. Obviously that's not enough. Uh, that's gonna go on our base layer. That's gonna go underneath. Um, it's gonna level things out. It's gonna prevent the leaking. And um, it's gonna make it a little bit more comfortable for Stella in here. Um, yeah, and we're gonna need another load. At least one more load. And then uh, the top layer will come. Really nice. Uh-oh, so uh, Gabby did the stall. She mucked that baby out. It looks good, right? And she added another bag of shavings. Since it was not a lot of shavings. You didn't bank it in the corners, though. I kind of did. I know, but I think it needs to be banked Five bigger. Five, we're gonna go climb the hill. Stella, trust me. We love you, even though it's hard for you right now. We, we do, we love you. And once the arena's a little bit softer and better, you can go out there a little bit more. But we're waiting till Friday. All right, now I'm gonna phone the vet. I'm gonna phone the vet and say, hey, come and do Stella's x-rays. She loves her window, you guys. Like, it was a gift from God that she got a window, that we got a window. Oh, she's gonna pee. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, it looks dark. I don't know, that was enough. That was enough to make me happy. The vet is on her on his way. Stella's getting x-rays today. Sam, what about cross ties? It's cold. It's cold, but when you come in and you see this, you can't help but be happy. She just looks at you with her little, she has like doe eyes. Well, and then she snorts and she's like, I'm not happy here. I know, I know. But look at how clean your stall is. Man, it is cold. It's like, we're really getting a taste of it today. The last two days when it's been warm, it's been wonderful. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what we've done around the barn since uh, we last, uh, since you last saw. Oh, so we now have a feeding table, temporary feeding table, grain. That's where our grain is for now. Feeding buckets, a uh, little basket for all of our supplements and stuff. Uh, you'll see a lot of this stuff has been cleared out. Uh, I don't know what that's gonna be for, but added with a big, huge thing. Might be a part of our chicken coop. Um, same, oh, hung up some blankets over here. Well, this is obviously temporary as well, but they're hanging up. Uh, same, same, same. Whoo, cool. Uh, Sam is hooking up cross ties for the vet. Uh, we got stall hangers for our bridles. We also have a stall guard for uh, Willow, and it might be a little high. I measured it specifically at three feet at her withers, hopefully. Wow, that's how big she's gonna be, you guys. 
hoping that is at her withers. Hopefully she can't get underneath. I have a feeling that I'll be doing something else underneath there or moving it down because I have a feeling that's not gonna work out. Girls have been keeping this room super clean. Gabby is the barn manager. Let's not make a mistake here. She's the one who tells us what to do. Um, stall guards, stall guards. And yeah, I think that's it. Okay, oh yeah. This bone in the front of the hoof yeah. should be parallel. Okay. And this little like yeah. ski jump that you see at the yeah. tip of it yeah. is remodeling of the bone okay. because of this old rotation. Right. How um, bad do you think the old rotation was? That's not terrible. I mean, it's a few degrees, okay. right? Because it should be parallel. So if yeah. you were to measure an angle like this, okay. you're probably looking at less than 10 degrees. Okay. I mean, it's significant, but it's not like, you know, mm -hmm. dear God. Right. It certainly means her hoof strength is going to be, you know, reduced from normal. Okay. And she's, you know, more likely to have founder issues. Up front looks pretty darn similar. Okay, yeah. She has a lot of toe okay. that we could take off. Yeah, okay. Um, on both of those. Like, okay, yeah. She could come off. Yeah, she's here. due on Friday for her. She's also toe. very low. Like, flat feet. There's feet. not a whole lot of sole depth there. No. Um, so she just needs um, shoes. Both of them. She needs shoes. Our superstar, he actually originally brought some sedation just in case she needed it, but she just stood there like a queen. Anyway, She's kind of done with her yeah. She so she definitely found her previously. Lots of evidence of that. I'm glad her feet aren't hot now, though. We definitely need to get more lights. Mm -hmm. Even more not yeah. Then one in. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna share with you guys what the vet found this week. So we've had the vet twice, once at our other barn and once here. Barn hair, don't care. It's also freezing rain out there. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys um, the, the, the outcome of today. So uh, basically, uh, Stella got tested at our barn for Cushing's disease and the test came back negative. She does not have Cushing's disease and that's great. Sometimes um, a horse that has metabolic issues like Stella can have Cushing's which can be a issue for making horses founder. So she does not have that and that is good news. Uh, today we had the vet, you'll have seen the footage, um, come out to do an x-ray and the reason we did that was because we wanted to see what really is happening in her feet. Um, it's gonna really benefit our farrier because he's coming on Friday in two more days to trim her feet and do all that stuff. Um, basically, he could see that she, okay, I might get some of this wrong because, I mean, it's all new for me. So basically, he could see that she absolutely 100% foundered in the past, long ago before we got her. She has some rotation of her coffin bone, so it should be parallel. In, in the x-ray, I'll try and put an x-ray here, and it dips down like this. So it is down, and it's relatively mild, less than 10% of a dip, he said. So all good news, because it means that she doesn't have a lot of damage. He couldn't tell how much of the rotation is new from this new episode. Um, he can tell that a, that a lot of it is old because of the new formation, like it, it heals up or there's new formation. That's the part where I wasn't quite sure on, but he could tell that she has foundered in the past. He couldn't tell how much is new, but good news, also good news is that since she's been here and since we've been taking care of her and limiting her food, getting the sugars out of her hay, her feet went from a burning hot when we first brought her home to being cold now. So her feet are feeling better, like they're not hot. Um, also, she has decreased sensitivity. So you guys saw um, when he did the thing on her feet and tested her feet um, at the other barn, her feet were so sensitive. Today, only one of her feet, feet were a little bit sensitive. So that's going away. All good signs she he said she's where she needs to be we're doing all the right things uh, he told me to add salt to her food which we have been doing um, she does have a salt lick she's always have a salt lick as well as food salt in her food um, I don't have the holder because we had to leave it at the other barn so um, I need to, to go to the store and get one and hang it up so she has that um, we're monitoring the water intake he said don't worry so much because she's still adjusting and because 
Um, she's still getting water with the soap tank because we are really soaking her hay. So yeah. Also, I'm riding Ruby today. Don't pull on her neck. Yep. Okay. If you can't be oh. out riding your horse, you ride your dog. Oh, wait, oh. And, and guys, I'm wearing this shirt for the first time ever. This and it one. says, this, this is one. my happy face. Yeah. And Sophie wants to tell you guys. Come see her desk. Oh, so you guys know in our old house that um, the girls always set up jumps and um, could jump the dogs, could jump the everything. Uh, and now at this house, they have an oxer. We have Levi over there. All right. Dogs everywhere. Oh. Hi guys. We're going to watch me jump this four bar oxer. Look at that. I'm scared. I did it, you guys. I jumped it. You should try it. If you can jump high or wide. All right, guys. So here's our setup. So we have a pole. cane. So pull. Jump, go like going towards the oxer at the back. So let's do this, Sophia. GoPro time. GoPro. Have my reins. <laughs> Good girl. Fourth time today, fourth time, it's four o'clock. <laughs> we stay for about an hour and a half each time we go. Obviously earlier the vet was there, we were there for longer. Um, anyways, Stella won't drink, she still won't drink. I, the last time we went down, I, the memory card was full so I couldn't show you guys all the stuff. But anyway, yeah, she, we are trying everything. I'm pretty sure that it is the bucket. So, ah, man. So I have a new bucket and it's only halfway filled with water. Clearly it's still warm. Um, anyway, it's got some eye oak. Spilling. I, we're trying to drive slow. Um, I washed the bucket like so good. I, it's the buckets. If I put like the water in my hand, she just like slurps away. I'll try and show you. Um, every, some people are saying that like some horses are weird about buckets because she'll drink the water out of the puddles I even found a really clean little stream of putt, like a little stream yesterday, filled two buckets up with it thinking she would drink that and she didn't drink it. Um, I got a syringe and if it comes to it, like it's not dire, it's not dire, it's not like, it's just something like you've got to be aware, right? You've got to know what's going on and I know she's not drinking. The vet was here this morning and she is, he's not concerned yet, he said like she's got to figure it out. But, I mean, I know how fast it can go from not drinking to bad, so. Okay, so this is gonna be a quick visit because um, we hung up her salt lick. Oh, she bites it. Yeah. Um, yeah, not even a drop. Look. Look. Yeah, see, she drinks it right off my hand. She's like, thank you. I mean, look at your gums. Let me see. I just wanna see. Not she's I know, I want to see her gums though. Okay, she needs to get her halter on her. Oh. It's getting dark in here, you guys. So in this water, I have boiled fresh water with no smell. An this old bucket, bucket is, um, with Sabrina's. Sabrina's and it's been washed shows. five million times and been through the ringer. And it's a dark colored bucket, so she can't really, like it's not all bright. 
Uh, and it's got apples in there. And the water is like warm, warm. It's not cold it's at boiled, all. It's boiled though. Yeah, it was boiled first. And it's now kinda it's kind of cold. It's kind of cold. It's, it's like room temperature. But anyway, now we're going to see. Okay, everybody back away. All right. Oh, the track is working. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, everybody back away. She's like, oh. She's sneaky. Like, horses are so smart. She'll just eat that hay out of there, I bet ya. Yeah. Literally, as Stella's getting, like, used to us coming and coming and coming and coming so many times of the day, she gets so excited when we're here. And I know that it's sad that she doesn't have a friend right now. But she is starting to kind of get used to it. She's kind of getting used to the fact that She's with us, like, and we're with her, and she's like getting like closer to us. Sucker. Yeah, she'd drink anything from her hands. Come on, it was like that.